So give me give me your prediction for the Bucks versus Chiefs. What do you think the scores, the final score is going to be? Um, off the top of my head, I'll go with Chiefs 31-23. Okay. Uh, I said the Chiefs are going to win 38-35. to But that 35 is going to come in a little garbage time, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. So in my opinion, you know, you can stamp this right here as, boom, Burt's opinion right here. I think Tom Brady will throw two more picks. That is, that is my prediction of the game. Let's stamp that in. Uh, and like I said before, I, the Chiefs are not going to waste those opportunities. They will take those opportunities. They will turn them into scores. But the thing is, the reason I have it so close is that, you know, Tampa Bay, first off, they have Tom Brady, who actually he's been pretty bad in the fourth quarter. I'm not going to lie, uh, especially in, in, in just this, uh, these past few playoff games. But, you know, I do think that they have so many weapons that, you know, it's going to be impossible to not keep the game close in the end, uh, even if it's in garbage time. Uh, like even if the Chiefs go up 38 to let's say 28 and then the Bucks just go ahead and score another touchdown and the Chiefs run him out or something. Like that, that's kind of my scenario that I see happening. Uh, and look, I know we're not supposed to bet against Tom Brady, but look, I'm not betting against Mahomes either. Okay. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. Yeah. I've learned my lesson from that. Uh, I'm not betting against Mahomes. Uh it's it's a really fun storyline and, and it's a really fun matchup. You know, just the goat versus you know someone who could be the goat one day. Uh, you know, the old old head versus the new uh, new young gun. Uh, it's it's just a, I really like the storyline and matchup. Uh, and the last time that Brady and Mahomes saw each other was two years ago, I believe, in the AFC Championship, Patriots versus Chiefs. That game went to overtime. And Patrick Mahomes never even got to touch the ball in overtime. Tom Brady just let, let, the, let it drive and won it. Mahomes, I know for a fact that man did not forget any of that uh, at all, and he's going to come back with a vengeance, and he's not going to let the Chiefs lose his game this time. Uh, and another thing I do want to say, Sammy Watkins will be available for the Chiefs. Antoine Winnefield is, is uh, suspected to be available for the uh, the Bucks, as well as Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell. So these teams are basically fully healthy at this point, uh, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a very very good Super Bowl. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. Um, here's kind of how notes I kind of took for this. Um, the Chiefs could be in some slight trouble, um, even though they won against the Bills. They did lose their uh, one of their offensive linemen, Eric Fisher. Due to oh, yeah. Achilles injury, um, sports all sports is also out. Um, another offense lineman they have. Um, honestly, it, it's going to come down to how well the Bucks front seven can go against to uh, go against the Chiefs offensive line because their offensive line is banged up. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't expect Patrick Holmes to get sacked too too much in the game, but you know. We just saw Jaquil Barrett and, you know, JPP really, you know, put the work on Rodgers. Um, that's something to least consider. I mean, you know, if those guys, if they can get a lot of pressure on Mahomes and rattle him a bit, it could definitely throw a wrench into their game plan because, honestly, their game plan is just to get the ball to Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey because um, that's always their game plan. It's a winning game plan. Why change it? Um, but I do want to mention the fact that you'd said that the last time Brady and – Mahomes played was in the AFC Championship a couple of years ago. Actually, they played Week 12. The Buccaneers. This is a rematch of Week 12. The Buccaneers versus the Chiefs, where <laughs> Tyreek Hill had 269 yards receiving and three touchdowns and torched them in the app in the first half. And Travis Kelsey had 82 uh, receiving yards in, the, in that game. Um, so this is a rematch. I do not see the Buccaneers winning still. I, I just don't have enough faith in the Buccaneers. I feel like their defense is their driving factor, and I feel like their defense won't get enough pressure on Mahomes to rattle him in the sense that they did to Rodgers, in the sense that they did to Drew Brees, in the sense that they did to Taylor Heineke and his other past few games we've seen. Um, you know, it's all, I mean, everyone loves giving Brady so much credit, you know, the GOAT, and then 
you know, all that stuff, you know, he's, is the best player. He is the greatest of all time, but he's, you know, father times creeping up and, you know, as much as everyone loves Tom Brady and acts like he's invincible to it, you know, you can never grow, you know, you can never stop aging. Um, Tom Brady to me doesn't look as sharp as he has in previous years. Um, I just don't feel like he'll perform his best. He makes a lot of strange mistakes. Um, so like you said, there is some miscommunication between him and receivers, which you'd think that would have been uh, addressed by now, but obviously, you know, he's still trying to get a feel for that offense. Strangely enough, even though they're in the Super Bowl now, um, maybe that can contribute to what you were saying earlier, how you said you didn't feel like the NMC was strong enough um, to really stop the Buccaneers from this tirade, um, which I, I can contribute that as well uh, to a certain extent. I did not feel like they were the best team in the NFC, but I do feel like they were definitely one of the better teams in the NFC for sure, especially in the ending half of the season where, you know, they played such easy teams and just picked up so much momentum going into the playoffs. And I feel like right now they're riding the momentum. And, you know, when you have players like Devin White, you know, you have players like, you know, Shaquille Barrett, you have players, Vita V's back, you know, that dude is someone they needed back. He's, I think he got injured back, I want to say week seven or so. He got injured a while back in, in the season. Now he's finally back. So that's another person you got to, you know, watch out for. And I can sue. It's just that that front line, you know, that front seven. That's really the X factors for the Buccaneers. Um, but I still don't, like I said it earlier, I keep reiterating, I just still don't think that's enough to stop Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. You know, momentum is on the Bucks side, but talent is definitely on the Chiefs side. Because the Chiefs, this is what they do. Like, yeah, they're, you know, they want just won 38 to 24. And, you know, momentum is always high for them. But that's just how the team plays. The momentum's always that way. They, that team rarely loses. In the last 26 games, they're 25 and 1. The one loss coming from the Las Vegas Raiders. So this is how, this is what we come accustomed to. Uh, oh, no, excuse me, when Patrick Mahomes was playing. Because they also lost to the Chargers in week 17. But, you know. When Mahomes has played in the last 26 games, yeah, that's what it's been for them. So, you know, the Bucks are just trying to get used to this moment that this is what the Chiefs do. The Chiefs, for me, it's their game. It's their game to lose, mm-hmm. if anything. Yeah. Uh, also, I want to go back to something I, I meant the last time they met in the postseason. Uh, so that's mm-hmm. uh, that's my bad. Uh, but, yeah, you, you're totally right on the Bucks game plan. You know, they need to bring Mahomes to the ground. If Mahomes' jersey is not, like, half green by the end of the game, they've done a bad job. Like, they're going to lose. Uh, you know, Mahomes and Brady are kind of – they're kind of similar in a sense of, you know, the more they get sacked, uh, obviously the less effective they are, the more they get a little bit rattled. Uh, and, you know, even though they did, they did lose a couple linemen – you know, the Chiefs offensive line is still one of the best in the league. And even outside of that, Mahomes is mobile enough to roll out of the pocket, you know, throw, uh, throw as he runs, you know, just on some Madden type stuff, you know, he's, to me, it's, it's really on like how, how well he comes back from this turf toe injury. If he's still not fully healthy from the turf toe, I do think that the Bucks line could feast on him. If he doesn't, or if he does come back fully healthy, I think he'll be fine. Uh, I think he'll be able to roll out of the pocket and just beat him while he runs and throws. Because he's honestly just as accurate running and throwing as he is in the pocket and throwing. Uh, And obviously, look, (sighs) Tyreek Hill is going to torch them again. (laughs) You. Like you said earlier, Tyreek Hill is one of the fastest people in the league, one of the fastest people ever. I mean, he, like you said, he runs incredibly uh, fast in pads. So, you know, I'm expecting Tyreek Hill to have a fantastic game. Travis Kelsey as well. Uh, you know, the Bucks are really, really relying on this, uh, on their defensive line to kind of win them the, win them the day in the, on the defensive end. And I don't think that's going to be enough. Uh, Mahomes is just, look, Mahomes is just too good. Like, Straight up, he's just too good. And the Chiefs, like the Chiefs defensive line shouldn't be slept on either. They did a very good job pressuring Josh Allen last week. Uh, they did, uh, you know, they pressured Baker a lot last week. I could really see them 
uh, pressuring Brady this week, even though the Bucs do have a good offensive line as well. I can see Brady really being pressured into some bad throws, into some picks even. So, you know, we'll we'll see. But it's going to be a very good Super Bowl. Uh, the, Tom Brady is playing in Tampa Bay, which is – or they're playing, you know, in Florida, which is uh, Tampa Bay's home. So it's going to be very interesting to see – this is the first ever – this is the first ever time that a Super Bowl has been hosted – by the team, by one of the teams that's going to the Super Bowl, so it, it's going to be very, very interesting to see. 